In studio, two young men who promise to confuse me on their names because their first names are way too similar. Uh, and uh, I welcome you both, Adam and Alan. What, uh, first and foremost, thank you both for coming in. I appreciate it. Great to have you here in the studio. Yeah, thank you. Thank All right. You. <laughs> Excuse me. You are Adam. Yes. Blackstock. Yes. You are Alan Harner. Yes. All right. Great to have you here. Kodachrome is the name of the play. This is, uh, I remember this as being a Paul Simon uh, hit. Uh, in, and I don't know that it was a, I, I can't remember the year, probably in the 70s, I'm going to guess, because I know I was a pretty young pup when, the, when that came out. So uh, tell me about uh, this play. When is it at the Apollo? And when, what roles do you guys play? So it's a play about love in all of its forms, mm -hmm. uh, from you know your first attraction through an un, unrequited love all the way into not being able to live without someone. Uh, it explores uh, neighbors throughout the town of Colchester, Connecticut, mm -hmm. and their relationships with each other and how they uh, go through these different cycles of love and life together. All right. Um, it takes place uh, this, this Friday is when we open. Um, the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of February, okay. and next Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, the 9th, 10th, and 12th. Have you done your dress rehearsal yet? Uh, that is tonight. Tonight. Are, yes, you, are you nervous? Uh, I'm pretty nervous, although uh, I'm not actually on the stage. I'm directing the show. Very nice. Um, but uh, I'm sure Adam here can tell about his nervousness. <laughs> Adam? I'm not nervous. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> cool as the other side of the pillow. Yes. <laughs> right? Uh, what's your, who's your role? Who do you, who do you play? I play Charlie, the hardware store owner. Um, his story in the show is that he is grieving the loss of his wife, and uh, he's struggling to find his way to just move on and find the joy that he once had. Mm -hmm. And this, it, it, tell me about the basis of this play, Kodachrome, because I don't remember hearing about a play called Kodachrome before. Where, where did it run? And, and, and tell me more about the background of it. So it's a pretty new play, actually, and um, it, it deals with photography. So that's kind of where the Kodachrome edge comes into it. It's Everybody under 30 right now is going, what, <laughs> film? What is this right, film right, thing exactly. you speak of? Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a really touching play. Um, it's, it's, it's a modern take on the play Our Town, mm -hmm. so with different vignettes, you know, throughout a town. And all the characters are representative of your, your kind of everyday common man. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a hardware store owner, we have a florist, a perfume maker, a waitress, you know, a, a, a grave digger, a librarian. So there's a, a number of different, yeah. uh, you know, kind of everyday people that you find in, in, a, in a small town. Johnny? Well, that's great. I mean, I, I've been to a lot of productions at the Apollo. I love it. And I love the 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 way they've, they've remodeled and they're sort of updating everything. Getting the marquee soon, too. Yeah, the marquee will be in. Let me ask, when you do one of these plays, how long does it take? When I mean, from start to finish. Okay, you guys pick a play and you start, you, you, you figure out who are going to be the actors, the actresses. Go through how long, how long is the process of, of getting ready, of, of practicing before you're ready to do a play like this? Well, for, for this particular show, I actually started this back in April of last year uh, when I decided to actually direct this. Um, so there's a lot of work that went into it to try to uh, bring Martinsburg feel into the show. So there's a lot of different locations around Martinsburg that we've used to kind of represent different places in the show. And then we had auditions in November, uh, and we started rehearsals in uh, early December, kind of had that holiday break to to do some um, line memorization and get familiar with the script and then right after the new year we went into it pretty heavy have you directed at the apollo before alan yes i have this is my second show there it's uh, the first show was murder on the orient express oh three yeah years ago. yeah that little agatha, agatha christie uh, right yes yeah uh who was in that show anybody in, from that show in this one uh yes actually uh lauren hug uh, she was okay. in that show, and she was in the show as well. Yeah, you were supposed to be Lauren Hug today, from what uh, <laughs> what, I, what I had on my prep sheet. Yeah, you're clearly not Lauren Hug. No, that's that's I can't. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, uh, of the vignettes in this, who are, who are some of the more uh, poignant people who will kind of make you remember their scenes in this? There's a uh, there's a young couple, uh, so you, you get to watch them and. And how their love blossoms, and and you know maybe their second thoughts as their relationship goes on. Uh, there's an older couple 
who who's been married for a while and they've kind of hit a snag in the relationship where mm -hmm. they're questioning their future. Um, there's characters who are madly in love with others and and trying to pursue them and those other characters and maybe their attention that character's attention is elsewhere mm -hmm. so there's a there's a lot of confusion in 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 the show i think with uh it hits every every stage of love and uh it's i think everyone watching the show will find themselves in one or more of those characters put yourself in the position of the person on the stage right yes exactly you don't you don't hear the phrase unrequited love as much anymore as you used to that's uh because <laughs> you can swipe left you can swipe right you just yes move on. yes well we're gonna requite some more <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's uh that's... you unrequite me i'm requiting somebody else yes <laughs> a little, little different in terms of how you pursue that love now uh, these days what other shows have you been in at the apollo before adam uh, i've been in the wedding singer oh nice who were you in the wedding singer Robbie Hart. No way! You were the wedding singer. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Who was your Drew Barrymore? Uh, Ashley Snow. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Where does that rank up there in your favorite roles that you played? Well, to be honest, that is probably at the top. I waited yeah. 10 years for the opportunity to audition for that show. No kidding. I didn't think I was ever going to get to do it. And um, it ended up replacing a show that was on the season. And, and we had a great time with that. So, yeah, that's. I'm a child of the 80s, so... Yes. I was born in 63, so I remember the 80s quite fondly, and The Wedding Singer basically capitalizes on yeah. the uh, on the. 80s. My favorite scene in The Wedding Singer is when he tells his ex girlfriend to take off his Van Halen shirt. You're going to jinx the. You're going to break up the band. You're going to jinx it. Yes, that lines in the show too. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's great. So, in, in regards uh, to this show, who are some of the other people who will be on stage that we might recognize from uh, from pre uh, previous shows? Uh, we have uh, John Glimpf. Uh, he plays the the grave digger, mm -hmm. and we have uh, Sarah Selleck, who plays our lead photographer. Uh, she does a very wonderful job. It's a it's a very heavy part. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of lines. Uh, she's in every scene. Any she's any narrator? Re any relation to Tom Selleck? I don't believe so. <laughs> we could just throw that <laughs> out there. If it sells more <laughs> tickets, yes. Yes, it's Tom, and Tom may be there sometimes. So you got to come every night. You never know. Guest appearance. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, any, anybody else? I mean, we have a cast of 16, so it's a lot of it. folks. In yes, there. sir. Okay. Who's the who's the uh, oldest person in the cast? <laughs> I wouldn't hazard to guess on that one. You don't <laughs> want to get in trouble. Well, who's who's <laughs> the old who's the oldest person in this room? <laughs> Turned 60 on Monday, by the way. Happy birthday, Rob! Birthday week. It is birthday. You get. To, I wanted to make sure we celebrated all week long. I'm extending it out for the entire week, just like when you were a kid. <laughs> it should be. All right. How much are the tickets? Any ideas? I believe they are 22. I 22? Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's not bad at all for a night of entertainment. How, how do you get tickets? Seniors and students, prices lower. Uh, um, you can go on the uh, Apollo's website, apollocivictheater.org, mm -hmm. or call them at 304-263-6766. Very good. All right. You got a, a scene, Adam, in this where you're uh, solo? Uh, uh, not one that would... Would work on radio. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> so all your, all your scenes are with somebody else. Yes, for the most part. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite part of this play? Um. You know, recently I I suffered a loss, like where there's heavy grief involved, and um, that is what my character deals with. So, uh, I actually lost my mom in November, and I was telling her how I was going to audition for this show. And, uh, you know, that's a journey when it comes to grief. And I've been able to kind of carry that into the show, though the show is not too heavy. Mm -hmm. There is some sadness, but there's a lot of charm. There's a lot of comedy and it moves. So as an audience member, you, you won't be depressed by the moments that are kind of sad in the show. But um, I guess kind of having told her I was going out for this and then getting a part in it. and uh, Some divine and some, intervention, man. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, Our condolences to you for your loss. It's always tough to lose your mom. Yeah, yeah that's uh, it. no fun at all. Yeah, man. So uh, did you study theater when you were in school? Was this something that you kind of decided uh, to do as a hobby, or did you at one time want to really pursue it? Uh, I mean, I took, I took drama classes in high school. I took a handful of theater classes in college and mm -hmm. been doing it for over 20 years are you from around here 
Uh, actually, I'm from Hagerstown. Hagerstown, okay. Uh, probably been doing shows in West Virginia for about ten years, on and off. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, so, Frederick. So, what do you all what do you all do uh, professionally, like for for a living? Because I mean, I know this, and that's something that not a lot of people know. That community theater, these people are pouring their hearts, their souls, and so much of their time into something, where you know it's 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 not a paid gig per se. I mean. Yeah. But it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful thing that keeps the community together and adds to what we have in our community. I took my kids a lot growing up. We went to a lot of shows at the Apollo. So what, what do you guys do, you know, professionally? Uh, I'm a government product manager for the U.S. Army out of Fort Detrick. Nice. <laughs> I work uh, as an online retailer for jewelry with jamesallen.com. All right. So selling engagement rings, diamonds. All of that. Stuff. Is is this a my my son actually told me hopefully his girlfriend's not listening that he's going to be <laughs> giving her the ring he bought for her. He's getting engaged this Saturday. Oh, now, that's wonderful. I know she's not listening to the show because she's she works in Baltimore and has to be paying attention to what she does there. So <laughs> not not ruining anything. But you mentioned then that that's you know that's a moment. Yeah. 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 Right. And I think a lot of people a lot of people really just don't understand how much work goes into a production yeah. i mean and, and how i mean how many painstaking hours there are how many i mean when you're once you've picked your cast and everything how many hours would you say of rehearsal there are from start until you get uh you get on stage that first night for opening night you know not even including all the time people spend on their own learning their lines <laughs> i'd say i mean there's well over 20 rehearsals so you you add that into you know three three hour two three hours of rehearsal it really is i mean it really is a labor of love i mean it's, it is uh, yeah. well good for you guys man uh are there any other plays coming up at the apollo that you guys will be doing uh I, w- I do want to mention on the saturday of the second weekend that we don't have a performance they're showing the movie The Princess Bride with a shadow cast. Oh, very nice. Oh. So. Uh, that is, I mean, that is one of the all-time great movies. Andre the Giant. <laughs> oh. Big dude. Big dude. What a great movie. You ever see that picture of Andre the Giant holding a beer can? Yes. <laughs> Looks like you know, a thimble. I saw something that, that said he drank like a hundred beers in one day or something. He, Set some sort of record. Obviously had an enormous appetite. He, he was a huge person. Yes. 500 something pounds. I, just, I mean, I quote the Princess Bride all the time. Well, how are you feeling? Well, I'm I'm not all the way dead. I'm, I'm sort of dead. I'm, I'm not all the way dead. Moderately. 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 Yes. Right. Hey, uh, guys, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Appreciate you. your time, and uh, best of luck to you with the uh, play running for two weekends. Yes. Right? This Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Next Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Next Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Because Saturday is the Princess Bride out there. Yeah, and then you're doing the dress rehearsal tonight? Yes, that's correct. All right. Is anybody allowed to attend the dress rehearsal, or is that strictly cast and family? <laughs> that's by invitation only. Invitation only. I noticed I didn't get mine. John, did you get yours? <laughs> I'll have to check the mail. Check the mail on that. <laughs>